Mark Webb and in this video we have an unboxing. Yes, it's one of those videos. What I mean by one of those videos is it's a video unboxing a Conan expansion. This time it's the Katai expansion. Let's look at what we've got. Okay, so here we go. This is the Katai expansion. It's uh, for Conan, obviously, as it says there. Let's get the wrapper off and then we can have a proper look at the cover and delve inside and see what's actually in here. So, what we have is... We can take the wrapper off. <laughs> we have a group of chappies and what looks like a pagoda uh, fighting off more chappies with swords. Nice. And we have on the back examples of the boards, the tiles, the cards, the hero character which we get, um, and an image of the um, miniatures. Uh, requires the Conan box to play. Katai is an ex unexplored land in Howard's work. Yet it is known to be the home of great sorcerers whose spells are feared by those from the west. Take Conan and his companions east to this mysterious land as they are swept up in a sinister assassination plot. Features scenarios written by A. Bowser and L. Marblock, designers of Seven Wonders, Hanabi, Cash and Guns and Cyclades, and also Eric Bordlett and Eric Geras. Wait no longer, be part of the legend. It contains 22 plastic miniatures, two game boards, including a double sided one. Ooh. Um, one scenario book, one hero tile, sorry, one hero sheets, 12 tiles, three tokens, 17 asset cards, and three spell cards. 14 plus, age 14 plus, 2 to 5 players, 90 minutes to play. At least that's what it says on the box. Let's get inside. Right, we have the scenario book. We have it in English and French. The French one can get chucked over there because I don't speak French. Not being disrespectful to the French, it's just that I don't speak French, so it's no use to me. Let's have a look. Here we are. And this must be. Is it a wizard's tower or some such? There's the. Uh, that's nice. That is nice. It's a nice, nice picture on the back. Pop that over there. And that's his hero sheet, Shenku. Exactly the same on both sides. Um, yeah, not really much difference in the translation from one to the other so it's exactly the same tile as far as I'm concerned and then we have Shuang Mian Kitan Gertz Javelin Throwers Foo Dogs Molos Infernal uh, Honor Gertz Javelin Ears Evil Hound, um, so the Javelin Ears and the Javelin Throwers are exactly the same, um, it's just that Javelin Throwers are the, is the English word and Javelin Ears is the French. And then we have these three little uh, tokens here for individual characters. And now we have the board. So I think what I will do is I will do exactly what I did for the last one. This time, however, we have two boards to look at. So let's uh, clear the table and have a proper look at these two. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, we have an outdoor area here, the grass and paths there. And then we have leading into Oh, we also have a little canal type of 
um, way here with little canoe kind of bolts. We have some what would like to be a bed chamber with a, a rattan mat, redwood floor, uh, an eating area possibly. Um, let's zoom in so you can see those properly. I'll zoom in so you can see those properly. There we go, we have the nice floor with a or very oriental design there with a mat and then we have what's it, bowls of food and mats to sit on. Um, and then if we go further up into the board we have another area that looks as though it could be a sleeping area which is this part here uh, could be could be an eating area but that to me looks like a bed because it looks like a pillow um, mats and could be best guess like a, some form of hotel kind of thing because there's like a reception here and then you go in here and sleep I don't know um, down on the edge of the um, canal part we have what looks like rows of storefronts with the um, what you call it let's uh, turn the table around well, let's turn this round so we can get a better look of the area I'm meaning um, we'll zoom out a little bit There we are. You can see it looks like we have so you know, the uh, canopies over shops. I'm imagining that's what they could be. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But you've got the little canoes and things with produce in it. Um, very nicely laid out. But that's it for that board. Let's zoom out a little bit and then we can have a look at the other side of this because the other side of this is the tower however before we look at that we need to look at this this is the floor zero of the tower you can see we have a table barrels some chains and manacles it's basically a dungeon so that's the underground dungeon as part of the tower. And then we have the different floors of the tower. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. Because up here we have the first floor of the tower, the entrance area. Below that is the pathway up to the tower. Oops. Ah, sorry, I can't move this. <laughs> so that's your pathway to the tower. Then we have, let's say up here, that. Can I do this? No, I can't. It's got to be open wide. Oh well, never mind. So we have the pathway up to the tower and then the first floor. We've had a look at the um, basement in the tower. So the first floor we go up here up these stairs and we then come to the second floor of the tower. Up these stairs here into the second floor. Sorry, up these stairs here into the second floor, a little fire burning, and then once we've moved up into this, um, up to those stairs, we get to the third floor of the tower. And we come into here and we find like a bookcase, a bed here, it's like a fire burning in front of a animal skin rug little workshop writing area here 
and in there we have a spiral staircase. And that spiral staircase leads to another floor, which is floor 4. This is the fourth floor, the roof of the tower. And it's just basically the battlements. A couple of chests here and a table with parchments on. And then leading out into here we have the uh, fourth floor. There's a couple of spears and the clouds you can see. The grate in the floor which if we go back to the, um, the first floor you can see if we zoom in there's the grate. So that part you're looking at you look right down there you've got the grate there you can see the clouds which lines up with one there. Very very nice design loving the artwork but it's not the boards that we want to see really is it as I always say it's not not the actual things like this that we want to see what we want to see are the miniatures so let's get down to the table and see them shall we <laughs> okay so yet again we have a decent sized box that contains the miniatures so uh, let's open it up and have a look at them shall we I'll open it the other side because that's where I've got my microphone on this side of the table so we'll open it up and look at from this side so what do we have we have these lovely little miniatures and the previous one most of the cards last have a look at them first this time and again I forgot to pick up my knife of opening so I'm using my thumbnail and we have okay so we have the French um, the French cards first and uh, we'll have a look at those when we get around to the English ones because as I say, I'm not being disrespectful to the French it's just that I'm English I only speak English um, I know it says a lot for me but I couldn't get my head around foreign languages when I was at school um, so unfortunately I don't speak French or German or any other language apart from English uh, so here we have the Tower Key the false evidence Ooh. Warlock documents Kitan Sword Kitan Short Sword ah. The Black Lotus Lotus, toxic mushrooms, and more. Saltpeter, and again. And then we have ginger. Have some spices along the way. Toad mucus, tasty. And warlock blood. Ooh. And then we have some uh, spells. Uh, again, we have some. English and French spells. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Ah, there we are. So we'll turn the. I'll put the French ones over there. And then I'll have a quick look at the English spells. And we have mental torture, push back, and blaze. So they are the cards we have in this set. Now let's have a look at the minis. So we have our first mini which is the hero mini. His name just to 
um, wind himself up, I've forgotten. His name is Shentu. So there's his mini, this is Shentu. And then we have the javelin throwers. These are very strange looking javelins. Um, but we have five of these. And the javelins, as you can see, have a hole in them. I don't know how aerodynamic they're going to be. But they probably spin in the air and make a really weird noise. I would imagine. Again, a little bit of a bend in them, not an issue. Bit of hot water, we'll sort that out. There we go. We have another one. We have five of these. I'm just making sure that they're all okay, there's no damage to any of them. As far as I can see, there isn't. It just needs a little bit of straightening, no big deal. Um, a little bit of straightening, a little bit of flushing to remove, but that's about it. Um, so I'll put these back and we'll have a look at the next lot of minis, which are going to be the, um, what are they? The Honor Girls, I think. I believe these are the honor guards. They have the long speary type thing. <coughs> Here we are. Whoops. Each weapon bent. What a surprise. Again, hot water, that'll be sorted. Not a problem. So these are the, the honor guards. Again, just making sure none of them are damaged in any way. A quick cursory check. <clears throat> and quite happy with these. Again, as usual, some have a straight spear, others bent, but I'm not fussed. I'm not at all fussed about a little bit of the vent spear because it can be sorted out with a little bit of hot water, as you know. Next we have the Kitan Girds. And we have four of these felts. Here we are. These are the Kitan Girds. I'm just going to pop these back as I finish looking at them. Very nice with the moulding on that, that is really, really pleasant. Details as usual are really good. <coughs> there we are. Oh, no. We have another one. We have five. <laughs> This one had his back to me, so I thought it was a different model. <laughs> Next we have Shuang Miang. I'm hoping that's how it's pronounced. Really weird looking character. He's a politician. You can tell he's a politician because not only does he have one face, but he also has another. So he is two-faced, so therefore is a politician. Shuang Nian. And finally, we have the Foo Dogs, which look like these. A bit more like lions than dogs, probably based on these. The Himalayan mountain lion, uh, mountain dog. I may be wrong, it looks like a lion. We have the beastie of a thing. Yeah. 
Now there are a couple of miniatures that we have seen the tiles for which we don't have in this. I believe, if I remember rightly, we have them in the um, stretch goals box that came with wave one. This obviously is the wave two package. Um, we have one more package to go with these. Um, we're waiting for that. They'll be coming in a couple of months and that's the updated rule books. Um, and we have, as you know, one more box to go. Um, one more expansion set. But I'm going to have to sort out my battery because the battery in this camera is getting a little low. So, as I was saying, we have um, this character that uh, we have the t we have the card for, but we don't have a mini for in this, and that I think is because the mini was in the stretch holes. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, let's bring. Uh, miniatures back and let you have and we'll look at those so you're not just looking at something green um, so we have one more box from the wave 2 delivery to go and then um, that's it uh, and the next box is the Nordheim expansion which will be coming up very very soon so until then as always take care, God bless and bye for now